What's going on guys, Mark from World of Emulation here, and today I would like to discuss some emulation news from the past few days. I plan to make these kind of videos often and try to collect the most interesting news for the emulation world. So let's get into it. We'll start off with some CMU news. The CMU team have just released a public version of CMU 1.19.2. Let's get into the changes that have been made in the public version of CMU. The big highlight here is that in the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD, they have fixed the pixel box that did not register the right objects on the picture, which to some is great news. In order for this change to be in effect, you need to enable extended texture readback in the game's profiles. Some other changes have been made too. They have resolved a problem where GX2 Draw Done would not wait for texture readbacks under rare circumstances. Some changes to the UI's text in Title Manager, GX2 Get Last Frame, now always returns a valid frame since some games expect this behavior. This change allows Game & Wario to progress further. And they fixed the bug in the friend service implementation that could lead to the connection being dropped on large packets. Next up, Yuzu had some fascinating changes over the last few days. The big one being that Animal Crossing New Horizons will now not require a mod to bypass the boot screen. So the recent video I've just made on how to bypass the boot screen is now pointless and in the future may be deleted. Which by the way, I am totally fine with. And also, you do not have to update your game to get past the boot screen. You can just use the standard version 1.0.0. These features will be implemented to the mainline sometime today, so keep on the lookout. As for Yuzu Early Access, they fixed many soft logs and sound effects for The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. This will really help Yuzu users who experience audio issues they have in Link's Awakening, as well as annoying crashes. These changes in Early Access will be soon implemented whenever it is well optimized for it to become into mainline. And finally, a quick news highlight is Ryu Jinx has made a remarkable achievement. The emulator has been rapidly progressing, becoming the first emulator to take Animal Crossing New Horizons in-game, and now, a few days ago, they've now confirmed that 1000 Nintendo Switch titles go in-game, with roughly half of them playable, which is amazing to see that another Nintendo Switch emulator is doing well like Yuzu. Well, that is it for the video. I hope I can produce more of these types of videos for you guys. Leave a like if you want to see more news coverage on emulators. And finally, subscribe for more emulation coverage. See you guys in the next video.